girl Jade Ashley and I want to welcome you back to an all new video of When The Beat Drops and like always you know I'm here to give you my five hottest beats in music of this week so of course you know you got to stay tuned for more. Okay guys so let's just dive into this week's beat. So my first beat of this week I have to talk about Miss Summer Walker. She just dropped her new EP Clear Soft Life and I had to give it a couple of listens and stuff like that. Y'all know I like to you know listen to you know these projects in different you know environments the earphones whether I'm walking around in a car and stuff and I like to listen to it you know multiple times and stuff just kind of give you like my first thoughts I obviously th these thoughts change over time and you know I get more acclimated to the music and stuff like that but yeah I just want to just share like my first initial thoughts of this project first and foremost you know Summer Walker can't do wrong in a lot of people's eyes when it comes to her music. Just because she's, you know, she's so talented vocally, uh, you know, she brings a certain type of, like, vibe that, you know, at some point you can just relate to what she's, you know talking about obviously we see her go through a lot publicly where you know that she's taking her real life experiences and putting it into her music and stuff like that and I definitely feel like you know this project is absolutely no different so this is actually a follow-up to her 2019 EP Claire so obviously Claire and then we're in 2023 then it's Claire 2 soft life and then I just think the whole term soft life is just kind of like is right timing and stuff like that just because you know we live in an era where everything is kind of like trendy you know we're in a tiktok era and stuff like that so like you always see content where it's a lot of especially women where it's kind of like they're in their soft girl era their soft life era and stuff like that so you know she just kind of like speaks to like that whole situation so i just kind of just wanted to like you know let y'all know my you know first initial thoughts out the gate with this you know being a new project and stuff like that so definitely summer she is tapping back into her like neo soul summer when it comes to this project i'm not seeing a couple of people on social media they said you know especially coming off of like you know the popularity of like still over it and it over it and stuff like that that they just wasn't like feeling this there were some people who were feeling it because you know they're kind of like familiar with you know summer's work prior to like her popularity and whatnot and to me I said that outside of this, you know, kind of being a follow up to her 2019 EP Claire, it made me think of her EP Last Day of Summer, which came out the year before Claire in 2018. And, you know, that was just like the real beginning. Like that was like that raw summer. That was the summer that was like walking around, you know, with the guitar and stuff like that. Not to say that she doesn't play guitar, but like a lot of the times now you she has like her live band and stuff like that on the stage which she's always had but it just makes me think of like those old summer walker videos like when she used to just do covers and stuff or make music you know covers and whatnot or sing like original songs with her guitar and like the youtube videos like you could literally like google or like look this stuff up like on youtube or you could just see like the earlier days summer with the older nose on on top of that because you know i always said i love me some soul summer walker but i'll never forgive her for changing her nose but that's another topic for another day whatever but anyway <laughs> i love the project i definitely can relate to some of the songs in some ways and stuff like that so uh the first track on this project is one second let me pull up the track list the first single or the first song on this project is to some of walker from cole it's a audio hug that's how he described it in his verse with this track i already told y'all so many times on this channel that i love me some j cole he could do no wrong in my eyes he's in my top five absolutely love him everything he does is just it's just it okay so i was excited to see that you know j cole was on this because you know j cole he's definitely i'm gonna do my music disappear mind my business and pop back up when i'm ready to drop another project but lately he's been doing like a lot of features and stuff like that so it was good to see that she had j cole on here and it was literally just kind of like a to summer from some from cole it was literally like that it was just kind of like you know i heard you kind of like reached out you know i heard you had a new baby and you know but it sounded like it was a letter but he was able to spit it in a verse only the way that he can and like i said he said it in his verse that it was an audio hug so that was just kind of like a nice introduction into the project now definitely my favorite favorite record on this entire project is definitely hard life just because i kind of felt like i resonated and i understood 
you know where she was coming from with this and i feel like i could relate to it <laughs> without a doubt and like i said you know with this being clear soft life uh you know i said the whole term of soft life or the whole idea or the whole desire to live a soft life is really a thing right now and with hard life obviously soft life the opposite of hard uh soft is hard so hard life i was able to resonate with that because i said i came to the realization that i don't think i'll ever in this lifetime that i'm currently living in will ever be able to experience the quote unquote soft life or at least what people consider to be soft life on like social media and stuff like that but needless to say just like listening to the record and just like you know i'm i was able to resonate with it so i wanted to read specifically the second verse in my opinion where i was just like someone she 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 talking that shit she was talking that shit especially on hard life so in the verse she says i'm tired of seeing all these spanish and these white bitches living a soft life with their feet kicked up and they glass in hand bills paid thanks to the man know how to lead and he got a plan faithful and he helped around the house and with the kid could it be a reality for me and mine like yeah <laughs> like yeah i mean those are what you you i guess like would categorize as like soft life and not everybody has it like that and then it just kind of like goes into it goes into the be strong sister portion of the record or whatever so like i definitely got that um other than that uh how does it feel is a third record which was another good one mind your mouth with which is uh the fourth record pull up so pull up was like the full i guess track that she released right before like the project drop pull up is the only one that has a visual at this moment in time when i say visual i mean like music video and that's the one that actually features big meech as like the love interest or whatever now y'all know that the internet kind of like picked up on them kind of like being together or whatever and it was kind of like once it was exposed they just been out here like just been spotted together posting each other hanging out and all this whatnot um a lot of people were kind of like confused on whether or not you know them being together and them hanging out if that was kind of like you know leading into <laughs> you know or it was kind of like in support of this like music video i had this theory that summer is going to pop up on the third season of bmf because you know they in the middle of a feminine bmf but we'll see but yeah so uh pull up has the visual she has new type featuring cow uh childish gambino uh, number seven is finding peace number eight is set up and then number nine is a guy use i think I, I don't know if i'm pronouncing that right but revelation and then that's just kind of like the talking piece and stuff throughout that track and stuff and i kind of feel like you kind of get a a good sense of like summer walker's like personality because you know so many things that people say about her personality you know she says the whole anxiety thing and people think that she's going to be quiet and she's not gonna you know sit here and you know be kind of interactive and you know but then when she goes on social media she was just talking about that because she was like dancing with meech on her story and it was like oh girl you need to put this energy into your performance and you know it's 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 a lot going on when it comes to summer but needless to say i always said this before where i think summer she's definitely been a great example of separating the artist from their music in certain situations but then also like you know what she goes through in her real life is what makes that great music but uh summer walker claire to soft life i love it i want to definitely listen to it more definitely get more acclimated with it uh, I can't wait to actually see it be like the background music to somebody TikTok videos. Y'all know I stay on TikTok and I know that's definitely coming soon. But if you checked out Summer Walker's new project, definitely comment below and let me know your thoughts for sure. But other than that, we're going to move on to my next beat of this week. And I want to talk about Queen Nija. So we got some new music. So y'all know I love me some Queen Nija. Obviously, I'm familiar with her from here on YouTube. But I just absolutely love the growth of her music career. I love you know just how she's in her own lane she's just she's just doing queen like 
you know, the talent is there. I feel like once the talent is like always there and just the hard work and stuff, like she's always gonna be destined to do like great things. So she has a new single called Words of Affirmation. Now what I will say, and I was kind of like looking for, and I didn't kind of like get the details is, I didn't know if this was a single that's gonna be on her upcoming project. Cause you know, she has been, you know, talking about like on social media that, you know, she has been working on her next album. You know, she's been working with different people and stuff. So I'm not exactly sure if this is just like, just a, solo single that's just a single she's putting out you know just kind of like give people new music or if this is kind of like leading up you know to her next full-length project because her first debut album like i said if you ain't see the review on this channel was absolutely great i absolutely love it from start to finish but um words of affirmation I love, you know, Queen's vocal growth. Uh, you know, she's always been open about, you know, just growing more vocally and stuff like that. And I think with a lot of the new things that she's doing and stuff, you get to hear that vocal growth. So yeah, it's just like, it's, it's not too much to really say because it's just like a, you know, a record. You know, Queen, she could sing. It's something that's added to her discography and it's just really, really great. So I absolutely love Words of Affirmation. And actually the day, you know, I'm recording this on Saturday, she released the record yesterday so the day that the record released she actually performed at the black music honors with jack Weiss, and they did a tribute to swv it hasn't aired on television yet but i mean if you stay on social media like i do you know you kind of just kind of see how that went so i know popping up on tiktok i was seeing like the um what was it when they were doing like their sound check and stuff you hear her and jack Weiss singing together in the vocals that's what i'm saying i love the vocal growth you could just hear it within that live performance but also within this record and stuff like that and then i saw like you know clips and stuff or whatever when they were actually performing so i'm just really happy for queen's growth i'm excited for more new music from her i'm excited for whenever she's ready to drop this new project and yeah so shout out to queen and yeah, we're gonna move on to my third beat of this week. And for my third beat of this week, I have to talk about I'm on the stage right now singing your favorite song. So shout out to Two C. So Two C's record favorite song is now certified platinum. And I feel like it went platinum really, really fast. So um one thing I love about Two C's like you know fan base and stuff like that is that they are like diehard fans and they literally bullied that man to release music and that was a situation with this one particular song favorite song so he'll go on tiktok and stuff or whatever and he'll preview music a lot of artists you know use platforms and stuff like preview music so he previewed you know favorite song and they literally bullied that man to drop that record like he would play it in the background of the thing and he'll be like all right once we get you know this amount of comments or we're gonna drop it on this date so they bullied that man to release a favorite song and when I tell you that record just kind of like shot out and I feel like that's really his like really first you know popular mainstream record because Tootsie's been around I know Tootsie's music I can you know name a couple of Tootsie records but I've never heard Tootsie on the radio so much before like I hear him now and I always say I live in an era where I still listen to the actual radio and I feel like once you be you're able to like get constant radio play and stuff like that like if I can listen to one radio show click over to the next and then hear the song like right after I just heard it you know you're doing something right so the favorite song the fans bullied him into releasing it and he released it and i feel like this is like one of his like first really popular mainstream singles and i'm glad that you know he's in that moment so favorite song is definitely <laughs> it deserves to be platinum when i tell you he has like different age groups singing it and you know they absolutely love it so congratulations to 2c with you know favorite song being platinum he's definitely deserving of that and outside of the record you know officially becoming platinum he dropped the toxic version <laughs> he dropped the toxic version of the record and the record features future and i kind of feel like you know what a lot of these new like generation like artists and stuff like that they keep it in the book because remember when i talked about chloe um chloe bailey when she dropped her album and i talked about her song cheat back and then she got future featured on cheat back and then now he got the toxic version of favorite song he got like future on it and they just gonna keep it a buck so y'all know future gonna cheat 
y'all know future toxic but he's it seems that he obviously he's here for it too because you know he's giving these artists these features and stuff like that so uh yeah shout out to 2c favorite song is definitely a hit without a doubt there's actually a third version of it as well because like i said he previews a lot of things like on tiktok for sure so i know he previewed the remix of favorite song and it turned out to be khalid so i don't think that that part dropped or that version of the song dropped this yet but it is going to be on his upcoming project his album i think which is his, technically his is it his debut album because he's dropped projects before i don't know or his like first official studio album because you know you could have so many projects and then you still be on your debut studio album but needless to say they wanted rod wave on the remix so i don't know about that but it was the khalid version like i said them fans they will definitely let them know exactly what it is that they want from him when it comes to his music but uh yeah shout out to tusi i'm glad to see you know just this mainstream success that he's finally been able to touch within his career so yeah <laughs> but other than that we will move on to my fourth beat of this week and i really wanted to do a video last week but i just really couldn't muster up a five total tracks or whatever because i wanted to come back so y'all know the last video that i did do i talked about little dark he's planning to you know drop his new album almost held and at the time when i talked about it you know technically the album was supposed to be out by now i talked about how he previewed the video with j cole and he said that the album was dropping you know may 12th y'all know it became a whole big thing because then um nba young boy who he has this unofficial beef with i'll say because if you ask him about it he's gonna tell you he ain't got beef with nobody and i kind of feel like just kind of like breaking down that whole situation you want me like a whiteboard with the marker and it's you know and you got a point just to kind of explain you know whatever the situation may be but basically he was gonna drop that day and NBA young boy from his house, because y'all know he on house arrest, so he can't even go nowhere. From his crib, he made a whole big thing where he was like, you bet not drop. Soulja Boy took that and kind of used whatever was going on between them in that situation to kind of like promote his album. And at the end of the day, when the 12th came, NBA young boy dropped, Dirk dropped the video in the song that he did with J. Cole, which is All My Life and he was like i'm dropping my project may 29th at first i was like oh it make it seem like you know nba young boy tried to like you know kind of like punk dirk and made dirk switch his you know album but in hindsight i think maybe dirk i don't know and it just probably i'm saying this because i'm a fan so you know i might come off a little bit biased but i think you know he kind of like used that moment to just keep up the anticipation for the album because what happened is nba young boy album drop that's the end of that <laughs> like he you know he's not out on his press tour he can't go on a press tour he can do like virtual you know press or stuff or have the press come to him but he can't go from city to city and you know do that with his whole situation but that just kind of like all of that just literally kicked off dirk's press tour so dirk, dirk has been around doing like you know um interviews and whatnot traveling to different cities i think like even when that happened he was like in new york at the time uh i know he did spotify i know he has something with academics coming out soon so like he's just been doing a lot that's building up to this album release on the 26th so that only elongated the conversation around the album and be a young boy he you know sat there and threw a tantrum for his release date where he didn't want he didn't want Dirk to drop that day so he got that release date Dirk didn't drop but even on that day like Dirk's record was like trending so a lot of people just kept talking about that record while NBA Youngboy had a whole project but needless to say like I said you know Dirk is coming <laughs> almost healed is coming and this week Dirk he announced his new album which is actually what is it sorry for the drought yes sorry for the drought that is happening yeah sorry for the drop tour that will have an nle chopper kodak black and dd osama i don't know who dd osama is to be honest with y'all obviously i know kodak black and i know nle chopper but even just with those two with the dirk i think that's like a perfect matchup the tour will be starting at the end of july on the 28th and it will wrap up in september or september 7th to be exact when i saw the dates i was like i would dead ass go to like a little dirk concert but when he'll be here in new york and he's gonna be in brooklyn to be exact i won't be here <laughs> i will be on vacation so i can't even go to dirk's concert because i won't be here in new york at the time when he'll be here but um 
yeah, I'm excited. I'm definitely excited. I already expressed my excitement for the Almost Healed Project. And um, the excitement just builds. Like I said, like I think him switching that project date from the 12th to the 26th, it is. 26th or the 29th. Oh, it's the 29th, excuse me. Um, is it the 26th or the 29th? It's a Friday, hold on, let me look at the, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. It's the 26th, excuse me. So yes, he's dropping on the 26th. 26th is the Friday. The 29th is not until like that following Monday. So yeah, the 26th, I was saying it right the whole time. So um, yeah, I'm excited. The anticipation just continues to grow. And like I said, the last video, come back because I'm gonna talk about the project. I was supposed to been talk about it, but the project got pushed back. So, you know, hopefully we make it to the 26th, we get that project and then come back and talk about it. And um, definitely let me know, are you gonna be checking out Dirk when you hit your city on his tour this summer? So, yeah. But <laughs> other than that, we're gonna get into my last week of this week. And this was another topic that I wanted to talk about had I did a video last week, and that is Beyonce's Renaissance tour. Beyonce, she has come out of hiding, y'all. Y'all know I talked about Beyonce when she had did like her big performance in Dubai because Beyonce is another one. I'm going to give y'all when I'm ready to drop and I'm going to do what I got to do and then I'm going to, you know, disappear. But we knew she was coming. She announced the Renaissance Tour and the Renaissance Tour has officially started. The Renaissance Tour started last week on the 10th, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And it started out in Stockholm and she's going around Europe right now with the Renaissance Tour. When I tell you the day, like opening day, any and everything that I see of the Renaissance Tour, I like it just so it can pop up on my For You pages because I told y'all I don't have tickets to the show. So I kind of feel like I have to experience this tour through social media. But it's like even experiencing this tour through social media, it kind of put me in a headspace of I don't care if I'm in the last seat at the top of the, the stadium. I just want to be in the building. I just want to be in the atmosphere at this point. Like legit, I like I really have to go to Ticketmaster just to see if it's like even the nose bleeded of like sections or whatever. Cause like I told you, they had those like people. It was a lot that was going on when those Renaissance tour tickets dropped. Uh, there was like you know people fighting like online virtually to get the tickets and stuff like that. There were so many complaints to Ticketmaster. Like people was dropping like all types of money, to, you know, just to get a ticket to be in the building to get in Club Renaissance. It was it was just a lot. And just, you know, just seeing these videos throughout social media, seeing people kind of like, you know, make their personal videos about the experience. I seen somebody recently do like a, let me tell you some tips if you're gonna go see the Renaissance tour. And I'm just like, I wanna be there. I legit wanna be there. I like, I don't care if I'm in the last seat. There's screens, I can look at the screen. <laughs> like Beyonce might look like a little dot to me running across the straight stage, but I, I could say I was at the Renaissance tour. The only Beyonce tours at this moment that I can say that I was at was a Mrs. Carter world tour. I was so close at Mrs. Carter. That's when she was in Barclays. Uh, she doesn't do small venues like that no more, but that's when she was in Barclays. I was on the floor. So I was like, oh my gosh, Beyonce. I was at Mrs. Carter. And then a few years after that, I went to On The Run 1, me and Kamira. So I've only seen Beyonce twice, but the Renaissance tour, I just kind of feel like it's something I really don't want to miss. So I don't know. Y'all might have to come back and I'm going to update y'all if, if I find, I don't care, the cheapest ticket. I just want to be in the building. Like I said, she in Europe right now. I know that at the beginning of July, I believe is when she finally hits the U.S. And I believe the first city that she hits is Philly, which means, you know, Philly is not too far from New York. So she'll be in this area for a hot little minute. And then she touches, you know, Jersey towards the end of July. So, yeah, the Renaissance tour. Will Jade be there this year? I don't know. But for, for in, until then, I'm attending the tour through social media. But yeah, those are my five hot beats of this week. Okay, guys. So I want to thank you for tuning into this week's video. And of course, you know, I have to end every single video by reminding you guys to like, comment, subscribe, and share would greatly be appreciated. Now, y'all know I cannot end this video without giving y'all my song of the week. And this week, my song is going to have to go to Miss Layton Green. So she is back. She has returned to music after becoming a mom. Last week, she dropped her new single, Spin Again, and it's definitely a catchy tune. I absolutely love it. I think she's still the only R&B artist on QC, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get into that. So, Spin Again by Layton Green, my song of the week. Thank y'all for tuning in once again, and I will check y'all later. So, 
Bye. Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to share and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.